We didn't see a lot of Kayvon Thibodeau, but he did play two drives and damn did he flash. Let's jump right into the tape. On this first play, Thibodeau is going to shed the right tackle of the New England Patriots and just throw him to the side. Now, of course, the run is away from him, so you shouldn't expect him to make the actual tackle. But when he explodes out of his stance, he's going to get both arms right into the chest of that right tackle. He's going to read, he's going to react, and then he's going to shed downwards and get that tackle off of him. This is such a great move for a rookie on literally one of his very first plays in the NFL. Now, one of the reasons why Thibodeau is such a great player is because of his explosive first step. And you see that on this next play right here. The guy gets right out of his stance and is easily the fastest player off the line of scrimmage. Like he literally explodes out of his stance and is a good foot and a half in front of anybody else on the defensive line. Now, technically, he doesn't get a sack or a pressure on this play, but in my opinion, that explosive first step leads into him getting some pressure on some other plays. Take this play right here as an example. Now on this play, Thibodeau is going to give this right tackle a hezzy to the outside. The tackle does not fall for it, so he's going to go to his second move, which is going to be a speed rush to the outside. He's going to rip past the right tackle. And although it doesn't look like much, at the end of the play, you do see he does get a hit on Brian Hoyer here. Keep in mind, Hoyer's a veteran. He's not going to take a sack. He's not going to get hit. He's not going to get pressured. He's going to get the ball out. But this is still a really nice rep for a rookie. And this next rep may be his best rep. He's going to put basically everything we just discussed in the last couple of plays together. In this play, he's going to explode out of his stance. As he's getting upfield, he's going to give this right tackle a hezzy to the inside, also known as a fake to the inside. And that fake makes the tackle off balance because the tackle expects you to go to the inside. With that, you turn that move into a speed rush and Thibodeau is going to grab onto the tackle, shed him downwards, and once again touch the quarterback. Now, keep in mind, if you're only playing 10 to 15 snaps, you're not going to get four sacks. But in 10 snaps, if you're this damn disruptive, how disruptive are you going to be when you play a full 60 snaps in a game? And that's what's so damn scary about Kayvon Thibodeau. And even the right tackle was a little antsy because Kayvon Thibodeau kept jumping the snap. He kept beating this tackle, so he wanted to quickly set. And he even had a false start penalty. Literally, 10 to 15 snaps and you're doing all these different things. Now, we did see a play in which he put his hand into the dirt and he played some run defense. This came specifically in the goal line. And he did a really good job with leverage. In this play, you can see that the Giants defense had him slanting to the inside. And based off of where he made contact with the right tackle, his helmet was clearly lower than the right tackle. Now, I think that leverage also made it hard for the tackle to move him because when you really focus in on the tackle, he doesn't get much of a push. Like Thibodeau really holds his ground in this play right here. Now, as I sat here and watched all of these different snaps and I watched the traits, the qualities, the processing that Thibodeau put on tape, I am very excited to see what this guy does as his rookie year kind of progresses. Kayvon Thibodeau is the real deal. It is very clear. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If this is the first time you guys are here, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.